Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Oh no, we lost OMG Sims. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. Um, that's never happened. Oh, he's back. <laughs> welcome back to uh, a, a spooky season podcast. Um, today we're going to talk about horror films and horror tv shows and basically just anything halloween and i got the best of the best here to talk about it thank you everyone so much for coming Happy i'm so thank excited you, for inviting me. <laughs> you are welcome we'll, we'll do a quick round of introductions um before we start i could not talk about horror without having mr omg sims here so omg <laughs> welcome back baby <laughs> <laughs> thank you for inviting me i'm so happy to be here today oh my god i'm so happy to see your gorgeous face it's been a minute since we've like chatted uh what's going yeah. on any like fun updates you want to share with us oh yeah i finally finished editing part two of episode five of return of the reaper and yeah. i love the shirt <laughs> i love the shirt thank you. thank you yeah it's been going on since may but uh this summer i was working like uh, all day every day so i i only managed to film part one i had to split it in two but yeah now it's all done and it's coming out this monday part two and i'm starting work on episode six and other small projects that i announced <laughs> So yeah, oh. now it's I'm I'm happy. Yeah, I'm excited. Well, welcome back and welcome back, Daniel Bills. Hi, hi. <laughs> and who's listening and be say welcome back? They're gonna be confused. Our episode comes out later next year. But Danielle, welcome. Thank you so much for coming back. I'm so excited. As soon as I saw your post about horror, I immediately was like, "Yep, I'm coming," because I love horror movies, shows. None of my friends really like it, so I just saw this opportunity and I had to take it because I will talk y'all's ears off. <laughs> I love it. And congratulations. I know your wedding is a couple weeks away. How are we feeling? Um <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know the word. There's like a million <laughs> words that come into my head at once, but I guess I'm just stressed because I've even if I have everything on my checklist checked off, it's always gonna be like I'm missing a thousand things. So yeah, that's my life. But I just know when the day's over, the wedding day, I'll be like, oh, why was I so worried? But until then, I will be worried. <laughs> I got you. Everyone, I, I experienced the same thing. I've now t two weeks today being married. And oh yeah, it's been fast. Yeah. And that's um, crazy. I literally, the day going up to it, I didn't sleep. I had fucking fear as soon as the speeches were oh. done and the dance floor was open i let loose like <laughs> yeah. like i literally let four years of stress wash down my back and then oh. that sunday morning i was like i'm free i can do <laughs> whatever i want i have free yes. time so it's coming it's coming it's yes and the, your wedding day goes really fast so enjoy every moment of it and try to make oh the small gosh. moments count that's what everyone says i kid you not everyone told me that and i was like it doesn't go that fast no it's like sims on the fastest level <laughs> fast forward is your wedding day oh gosh so enjoy those small moments where you can but disney welcome back for 28 oh. times Damn, 28 I, times can't leave you alone baby i got I, you well i know you're just like my my permanent co-host anchor <laughs> and sim sister for love welcome yeah back. Welcome, okay. welcome spooky season uh, oh. oh i was uh just gonna say um i completely agree about the wedding stuff also i had like a bunch of things go wrong for my wedding and i would still say i had like an 11 out of 10 time oh. so like yeah, like even if you have little things go wrong, even the day after you're going to be like, that was the best day. Like it mm -hmm. really does happen like that. Like I think Stassi can att attest to that as well. And uh, also wanted to say for OMG Sims, um, we have to talk about how great that Machinima series is. And I absolutely loved dying on your show. So thank you. <laughs> it's so funny that two of, uh, I mean, it's four of us and two of you two were in my show <laughs> and one of you died i mean but yeah 
Yeah. Hey, Maybe Danielle, you like want to get murdered? Oh, yeah. If you want to get murdered, <laughs> come come join the Machinima world. I would with love OG to. Potter, yeah. Yes. Let's That's talk about it. So fun. Yes. Well, everyone, let's dive in. A spooky season begins. Obviously, so come the horror movies and TV shows that surround it. Um, I personally am more of a campy Halloween person. I like uh, like Treehouse of Horror. I love Halloween Town and Twitches um, and just kind of really more of the campy side. But I want to hear horror everything. And I have to start with Danielle because if you're going to chatter ear <laughs> off, I have to hear what is your favorite horror movie? Favorite oh, horror God. movie draw- uh, genre. And do you also watch horror TV shows as well? occasionally yes um okay so my favorite horror movie it's actually like the series of the nun annabelle the curse of la llorona that entire world of movies i love i just saw the second nun movie it was really good um but i'm like fucking crazy and i really like gore and like absolutely like oh my god like art the clown those movies (sighs) terry fire yeah. yes yes oh my oh god my people god. think I'm so weird that I'm like I just watch it and I'm, I'm just like sitting there watching the tv like and my friends will be over and they're like oh my god Daniel please turn this off I'm sick I feel like I'm gonna throw up and I'm like just don't watch and they're like how are you so unfazed and I'm like okay so basically I've been <laughs> skydiving I've jumped on I've jumped off cliffs and the bodies of water I'm crazy and I love adrenaline um because I've been through so much trauma I like my some of my emotions are like gone so I use adrenaline to like feel something (laughs) so yeah (laughs) so you're Um, a thrill seeker is what I'm gathering here in every way possible yes (laughs) wow okay not a lot of people expect that when I, I saw no, I would have, I would never, have never expected, expected that. that in a hundred yeah. years. Okay, there's a lot <laughs> to unpack. There. Um, I'm just like, how can you be any cooler than you already fucking I know. are? Oh my God. What the hell? <laughs> so you've gone skydiving. We'll come back to horror films in a second. You're <laughs> yeah, yeah. you're like a sweet baby child. So like, how old were you when you went sky jumping? And I have went- you done it more than once? I went for my 19th birthday because in Alabama, you have to be 19. So as soon as I turned 19, I went and um, I'm 21 now. I have not gone a second time, but I want to. Okay. 19 years old. Cause it's drinking age in Canada. I was like, what bar can I get into? <laughs> not, what plane can I jump out of? <laughs> that was me. <laughs> You're the coolest person ever. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> yeah. Thank you all. Okay. So back to horror. So you, so you like the conjuring universe. I mm-hmm. could not agree more. How was Love the it. nun too? I, that is on my bucket list to see this month. There were some really, really good jump scares. Like they were very, like, I hate it. And I love it at the same time, because it's like, it's those kind of jump scares where you're sitting there in anticipation for at least a minute or more. And it's just like, oh my God, like just jump, like just do it. Just scare me. I want you to. And then it just doesn't for like another 30 seconds. I love that. I love that. So there was a lot of that. Um, And it, you've seen the first one, right? Yeah. So it kind of like ties in back to the first one and it answers some of the questions we had. Um, And it kind of has a similar storyline like of course it will because it's the second but like very similar but in a good way so like like you know how in the first one it's like Jesus and his blood yes it was kind of like that again but something else I won't say okay it looks it looks good I'm anytime they come up with anything to extend that universe I am I'm down who okay have you guys seen the paranormal activity franchise Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus. That was animal noises. Yes. <laughs> so are you, are, wait, hold on. Are are you now, Um. Uh. oh my God, is, is the paranormal activity monster now haunting you? Are you possessed? No. 
it's like when it came out in Italy, it had already been out in uh, America and it was like marketed as the scariest movie ever. And it, there were shots of people watching it in the movie theater screaming. And I, I watched it, I was like, mm, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. No, I mean, and there's too many of them. And yeah, I mean, yeah. maybe the first one, the first yeah. two, I like them, but the other ones. It's just repeating the same movie without changing too much. But yeah, I prefer The Conjuring and Insidious. Yes. Insidious. Definitely Insidious. Is, 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 is Insidious the one where there's like the red monster behind you? Yes. yes. Okay. And the fifth Love one that. came out this the summer. Fifth? The Sorry, the fifth one? Yes. And the it last, ties it. It's the, the sequel door? to the two. Yes, the red door. Yeah, I thought the red scene that scared me most was the first Insidious. Yeah, like with mm. he's behind. Um, behind. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. That See, shot still haunts me. <laughs> so, do you guys also count thriller movies in the Halloween genre as well? Yes. Yeah, I, yeah. I do as well. Now, this is not a thriller. This is a full on horror. The only fucking scary movie I don't fuck with is Sinister. I don't fuck with Sinister. I don't fuck with Bagels. Okay? I don't fuck with Bagul. <laughs> He's fucking petrifying. I will still stand this to this day. Even anytime I'm like, I have to watch it once a year to get the crap scared out of me. Unlike Danielle, I don't um jump off planes <laughs> to get my thrills or jump off cliffs. I'm like, I'm gonna um watch a movie in my home eating popcorn and I don't fuck with bagels. So, is that the one with the like weird face or mask? So it is basically the boogeyman. And if you watch the film, um, mm-hmm. your kids will kill you in a horrendous way. Oh. And then he takes the kids' souls back to oh, hell. Oh, I remember watching that and I was like unfazed. I just looked <laughs> it up. I had to look it up because I forgot about it. <laughs> They kind of took off the ring vibes a little bit. Yeah, a, a little bit, but it still gets me. His face, like, yeah, like the, the face is creepy. The makeup is phenomenal mm-hmm. in that. So, okay, what horror movie fucking makes you guys petrified? Ooh. None really. <laughs> I'll be here all day thinking. Okay. Oh, she Sims, how about you? Uh, petrified is that i watched too many of them i don't know I, uh, oh i know uh there's one he- okay. hereditary oh, oh my god, god. hereditary yeah. yes. so good I mean, why you did can i watch forget it about that a lot of times but each time, I mean, if you watched it, you know that scene. Oh and, my god! Yeah, you're never ready for that scene. And wait, which bath. one? Because there's multiple see, that there scene. Is. For oh <laughs> yeah, okay. For some reason, that scene. didn't affect me. You know what was the most scary is when she's like up in the corner of the ceiling and just like and you just can barely see her, but you're air. like, she up on the ceiling, and then she just like, yeah, that really swimming scary. in the air. Like, yeah. <laughs> Um, I watched this like underground, like Australian 2013 movie called The Tunnels, and it was actually pretty scary. It was more done like Blair Witch Project documentary style, following three people, and they're just exploring the actual tunnels of the underground subways in Australia that have been abandoned. And there's just like these like monsters, like scary, like white alien looking things that just keep grabbing oh. them. And it, yeah same kind of with the descent too i found the descent actually kind of scary but i found that more for my like claustrophobia more so than the actual like graphics and stuff that they showed but audio also plays such a big factor in movies like the jump scares are so crucial to have like the right sound effects yeah. I, I, an example of like sound effects that haven't been done right is like um the silence of the lambs series like mm-hmm. there's some scenes where like you know like a woman's running and like they're running to this like folky country style music and it just doesn't really <laughs> match the actual scene they're it, trying it, to be different yeah i guess i just didn't feel like it executed it properly yeah i agree yeah uh, danielle how about you you said you found okay 
I I just remembered. Okay, so I am scared of one thing, terrified even. Aliens. Oh, um, that is okay. So, nope. Have you seen Nope by George? Oh yeah, Hill? yes. Potter okay. is so good. That what movie that? is the only movie that had me hiding behind my fiance. I am oh. so scared of aliens, and I just watched um, on Hulu. I think No One Will Save You. Yeah. Oh, that, amazing. That, I screamed, and I've never screamed during a movie ever. Dang, and I bet good. people are gonna laugh at me because some people are like aliens. Are you kidding me? No, because they're real, and that's why I'm scared. <laughs> because yeah. it's so realistic, they could actually come eat me right now, and that's why I'm scared. But like demons and stuff, like yeah, maybe. But there's, you know, it's more common that aliens would come here. <laughs> yeah, it's actually statistically more likely that they exist. <laughs> like, yeah, no, they literally do. They have to. There's yeah. no way they don't. Yeah, and they're not coming here because they're smarter than us. <laughs> I hope they don't because that's my worst fear. And it sounds so silly, but I don't care. No, it's not. I feel like that's completely accurate. And that's, yeah, it's, it's an okay I fear. I also want to say, I get asked all of the time because I tell people that I love horror. And they're like, what's your like favorite scary movie? And I've been saying the same answer since I was like eight years old. Jurassic Park 2. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking Velociraptors. <laughs> oh my God. amazing absolutely amazing no but Um, the thing about aliens in horror movies i mean the scariest part like in nope was that you're in the middle of nowhere and you start seeing this black thing this ship uh, i don't know how to call it that's in the sky i mean that's something that i mean it's unlikely to happen in 2023 but yeah it, it's something that there's this aura of mystery surrounding aliens so yeah it's i think it's really underrated in the movies yeah yeah mm, alien horror movies like uh, no one will save you is one i mean since nope i think it's the biggest movie yeah. with aliens mm-hmm. they should do more i i, I like agree them. i would I like to see it. more aliens the demon which is another yeah. exorcist like it's like exorcist rebirth oh. the eighth time okay like <laughs> let's let's change up the pace a little bit i uh, watched it two days ago the new one is it good oh, I see it your face um, says no okay no spoilers okay no but, spoilers uh, i i thought i i i read reviews before <laughs> i know it's it's my problem but i thought uh i let's give it a shot okay but i think that if you take away the the exorcist title and you take away the legacy characters what's left is a like a basic supernatural horror movie mm-hmm. i th- i actually thought that the nun 2 was better <laughs> i mean and last oh. week i watched uh, talk to me i don't know if you watched it the one with the hand oh that one was really good it was yeah. 10 times better the than ending the ending was amazing it was really good i actually wanted to watch it uh, twice me too but yeah this year i watched scream six four times at the theater so yeah my i mean <laughs> money <laughs> is like saying no once is enough <laughs> yeah but actually um, like, talking about scream like just the concept of like scream it was really cool to have like drew barrymore mm-hmm. who was like this famous actress go on to the show and then or on the movie and then they murder her within the first like is it 20 minutes it's not even 20 minutes no like like that was never done before and it really was well done but I also want to mention with Scream they've created well maybe not created but I feel like they're one of the first big ones that tied in comedy to horror which actually pair really well together Mm -hmm. i find um like american horror story does a really good job of being funny and being uh scary at the same time i could not agree more that was on my list like we have to talk about american horror story because in my opinion that really started off the horror genre in the 2020 like in the 22 sorry 2000s so it's been on for a long time like i used to it's on right now the newest season's on i haven't watched the last couple seasons because like i know the seasons like kim k is on there and i'm good good. well she's actually one of the better characters there i'm sorry but (laughs) it's a weird season it's like a slow burn but kim k is like but like we coven 
Asylum. Holy asylum sh- like- oh, Asylum was so good. So good. It was so good. See, I'm a Gaga fan, so I really liked Hotel. Oh, and then any and then please go check out Tragic uh Plum Bob, who made the Countess in yesterday's Halloween countdown. Love you, Tragic wow. Plum Bob. I saw that and I was like, no one knew who this was. I was like, it's fucking American Horror Stories, the Countess. Um, but again, American Horror Stories is done so well. Um it's it's i just like that it's different every season it pulls you in chef's yeah. kiss um amazing uh-huh. i also love haunting of hill house oh my, yes. Bly yes. Manor. Oh my god uh and then the bly manor yeah and then yeah. the rise and fall of house of usher comes out on thursday i, can't wait I cannot, wait. cannot wait can't wait yeah. cannot wait uh, i'm counting- what it, wait what is that it is the same it's creator like oh right <gasps> yeah it's all Edgar and Ellen Poe stuff oh yeah. my god i'm just fucking counting down the minutes i'm like oh i literally gosh. canceled my plans on thursday night because i'm eating a pizza mm-hmm. and watching that like that Same. is my plan Same. yeah that's actually his last series on netflix because he, he went to uh, amazon so yeah. no more haunting series i mean they could replace him with ai writers oh that hit <laughs> hard but true but like hard that's that's why we had to have that raider strike fucking ai shit Mm-mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that they like found uh, an agreement for three years. I I read, but yeah, it it needed to be done. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of AI, Black Mirror. Oh, oh my I god. Love Black Mirror. <laughs> okay, what is your guys' favorite episode of Black Mirror? Oh, that is hard. Probably. Uh, I don't know if it's the first one, but the guy where he like. Oh god, this sounds horrible. The one where he likes children, basically. Oh, that's that season- one made me sick. Like actually yeah. sick. Yeah. So yeah. that was so good though. Mm-hmm. Oh, I loved white white bear. Is that oh, the one? I don't I don't fuck with white bear yeah, or white Christmas. That. that was good. White Christmas <laughs> John Ham. Oh, there's so many good ones. I love the uh 10 million merits as well, the one yes. with Daniel Kal- in it like that one was so good um oh there's just so many and they're all so compelling for different reasons um, yeah there's a love story one that like i'm obsessed with and i say oh, yeah. the one where they fall in love in the video game that um, yeah the yes dating app yeah or, and- there's so many good ones i like yeah. the dating app one and i like the video game one. i like the more happy one I don't Me, like the- oh and Saint Junipero oh, oh Saint Junipero oh, oh, my heart that wait, I don't a- remember that that's the love story between the two girls it, and like they keep going into different like eras within the video game but like one of them is um like uh getting old and dying and the other one has been in a coma for forever yeah I don't think I've seen that one. Oh, have you yes. watched the new season yes I've watched two of the four episodes there's a new season Josh oh, Arnett, yeah. all do a space one and it I feel like it could have been better executed but it was <laughs> really good um and then there was one with um Annie from Schitt's Creek yes and that one was really in Selma Hayek yeah that one was really good <laughs> Joe <was> crazy <laughs> oh I loved that one yeah yeah there were so many good ones yes um again oh. like go ahead sorry no go ahead. i was gonna say there's also this series on netflix called uh love death and robots and there's like just like yes. these little mini episodes but they're all so good too i love anthology series they're so well done yes yeah um so sorry. that's okay see this is why like you have to accept a lot of people are like i don't know any halloween horror tv shows there's so many so, out there yeah, yeah. um Another one that I preach all the time, if no one's ever watched it, Midnight Mass. Oh my God. Oh. Wait, can I just say oh. something? Yes. The scene, There, I don't have to say like no spoilers because it's been out for a while, right? Yeah, yeah. it's been out for like two years. Okay, yeah. so the scene where they're on the boat and he just fucking catches on fire. Like, Yes. What? Unexpected. Loved it. Oh, so good it was so so good I, i've watched that series five times now on netflix i'll just randomly <laughs> just binge it. it's so good it's creepy what that's exactly i didn't realize that like it was going to be vampire demons yeah, yeah. right 
And then like when we find out that the priest is the old guy. Oh and I was like, I was like, Ooh. Yeah. Yes. So good. So good. <laughs> so good. So anyone please listening to this, this is actually a product placement for Midnight Mass. Yeah. <laughs> they, I don't, wish. they don't pay me. I just love them. <laughs> But we uh, so we uh, we can't talk about Halloween with obviously without talking about the two main Halloween people of Halloween or Friday the Thirteenth or Friday. <laughs> um, out of your opinion, who is more petrifying, Jason or Freddy? Or Michael Halloween? Or Michael. Michael Myers. Oh my god, sorry, Michael. <laughs> I'm sorry, my, yeah. Don't I was worry. like, it's Jason. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I I'm gonna say Jason as well. It's between yeah, Jason and Michael. Too. Yeah. Freddie's kind of like, cute. Mm. <laughs> Freddie <laughs> both of them. <laughs> I think it depends on what Jason, like the Jason from the original movies, they're a bit campy, like 80s movies, or the remake one, the one in 2009, he was a bit scarier. The one with yeah. uh, Jared mm-hmm. Padalecki. I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, bad Jason. Bad. I also just appreciate in how we like Jamie Lee Curtis, like baby girl comes and gets it, comes back, and it's just a fucking baller. Um, final girl, final girl, final <laughs> the ultimate final girl that we can my my dreams of Amy being. <laughs> oh yes, Amy is going to come back. Sixty uh, years old. <laughs> Sixty years old. I'll be like a, I'll be like sixty at that point, just being like, let's do this. <laughs> Yeah. Definitely my final girl energy. I am murdered second for sure. <laughs> um, well, we've talked a lot about horror thing, but as I let off as my favorite is campy Halloween. There is a lot of campy Halloween out there that I kind of feel like it kind of gets forgotten about. Like Hocus Pocus. Like I love lo- I love Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus 2 came out last year. Yeah. Um, Halloween I- Town. Halloween Town. It's so cute. The three, <laughs> not the four, not not without my girl. The first one. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, or like Twitches, or yeah. um, what I um, oh my god, my brain. I have a list here of like I goosebumps. Really, goose, yeah. Oh, goosebumps. oh, I love the new that. series is coming out, and I watched the trailer, and no, I mean Goosebumps is amazing because each episode is a. A story separate story the new ones are trying to like create one big storyline and putting everything mm-hmm. together but the real the nice part of the positive aspects of goosebumps was that there was i mean you could watch it in one episode and it's like america the first american horror story yeah i mean or are so you good. are you afraid of the dark it was our canada <laughs> version um <laughs> Or how about uh, Ghostbusters or Ghostbusters, a TV show or Beetlejuice, like these can't be or the Beetlejuice, the animated series, which used to play on Teletoon on their haunted horrors. Let's talk about Scooby-Doo and all the Scooby-Doo <sighs> haunted oh, I love movies. That as a kid. That was like Scooby-Doo the start movies. of my yeah. horror. Yeah. Or like the Sarah live. Sarah Michelle Gellar. Yes. Daphne. I love it, those. Exactly. Like if you can have campy how we am I like okay in my theory I I think the uh Rocky Horror Picture Show is a Halloween movie yeah so like here okay here's the ultimate question is the Nightmare Before Christmas a Halloween <laughs> movie or a Christmas movie both <laughs> you can watch it both <laughs> you can enjoy it year round <laughs> yeah exactly. I but again, like the Tim Burton. How about Caroline? How oh about my God, love uh, the movie. Corpse Bride? Uh, we t- Harry, t- in my opinion, Harry Potter Halloween franchise. I could watch that. If Die Hard is a fucking Christmas movie, <laughs> Harry <laughs> Potter is Halloween. They're witches and wizards. Yeah, <laughs> right. Although they do celebrate Christmas too, so uh, it could go either yeah. way. The, I've okay. never seen Harry Potter. What? <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm just laughing because the silence. <laughs> so, like, you know how there's like, and like for like, it's like Disney adults and shit. No, nah, we, we, Harry, Wait. we Harry Potter. Okay, you Wait. don't fuck with Harry Potter. But girls. no, listen, I go to Universal Studios. I'm an annual pass holder. You know, that's where like Hogwarts Castle is. I love like going to Hogwarts and, and enjoying it. But 
and like all the Harry Potter rides. But you're they're so fun. What's going on? I love the butterbeer, like. But I can't, I cannot sit down and watch it. I don't know why. I've tried like 10 times and I can't get through the first movie. I can't. <laughs> Me and Disney are just like, our souls left our body. <laughs> like, like that is like, like that is how I'm defined as a character of what fucking house am I in? <laughs> I ask people that like 10 minutes after talking to me. So I'm like, what house of like, I'm in in Harry Potter and they're like, Slytherin I'm like god damn it I didn't realize I gave off that much Slytherin wait vibe. what do you think I am because I know Hufflepuff. mine Hufflepuff yeah, yeah definitely no. no she could be Slytherin no Ravenclaw Gryffindor, <laughs> Gryffindor. <laughs> yeah that makes sense. <laughs> maybe because because you're 21 okay I thought I was Gryffindor when you get a little <laughs> and then later in your 20s you turn into <laughs> more of a Slytherin <laughs> Okay. The hero versus the villain. You just haven't been villainized yet. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. Um, but that's the beauty of Halloween. There's Mm -hmm. just there's so much that go with it. I still like to dress up every year. Do you guys still like to dress up every year? Oh yeah, every year. Yeah. Uh, uh, what are you guys going as this year? A lobster. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) That is the East Coast thing. I love it. Daniel, are you dressing up this year? Well, I'll be on my honeymoon. I'll be coming back from my honeymoon and I just know I'm going to be exhausted. And also I have something really exciting happening on the day after Halloween. I can't talk about it, but mm, I wish I could just tell you, but I can't. I It's just so exciting and I can't wait for y'all to see. Yay! Yay. I have to travel somewhere and take a photo of something because it's a big moment in my life. That's all I'm going to say. Cool. Very, very cool. Where are you going on your honeymoon? <laughs> so we're going to Hawaii. Um, oh, cool. And I know the fires in Maui. We were really, really worried about going. We tried to cancel it and book somewhere else, but it was non-refundable. But luckily we're going to Hawaii, Hawaii, like that island. Main island. Yeah. Um, yeah so yeah <laughs> omg sims baby what are you dressing up as yet to decide okay <laughs> depends of what on what i'm doing because each uh, for the past two years we've been going to the club mm-hmm. on halloween mm. and i've always been dracula dracula oh. i don't know why i say it in french <laughs> yeah but i mean the contact lenses i hate them i yeah. i really hate them it's like red and i like yeah. Yeah, but now I have a boyfriend, so I can be like um Halloween vampire. I have to be <laughs> careful out there with those outfits. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You have to decide. Uh, also, it depends on the weather because right now it still feels like August. I don't know there, but it's creepy how much the weather has changed, and it's so hot and like sweating right now, mm. and it's October. It's not my Halloween vibes. That's These how are it not is the for Halloween me. vibes. Yeah, as I say, Diz, what are you at? We've been like 30 Celsius all week. What oh, is that? the, the leaves are, are leaving. It is it is fall. It's fall. <laughs> <laughs> like today, it's like, oh, it's going to only be high of 10. And we're like, wow, so normal weather in October for Ontario. <laughs> how many degrees uh, are there where you are? Brought like me? Celsius degrees? Oh, Each geez. one of you. I right now I'm at ten Celsius. Ten Celsius. Oh, let me see here. You're, I look like I'm at eighteen. You're at thirty Celsius. Oh my god, Danielle's the only one's gonna be like, "What's Fahrenheit?" No, I'm literally like, "What is this to this conversion?" Hold on. Yeah. Um. Okay, so it's been like, hold on. Sorry, I feel like in stupid american right now <laughs> i have to do that all the time when i'm talking to somebody else they're like oh yeah it's like 110 fahrenheit and i'm like hold on what the fuck's that in celsius? oh my god that's a lot okay so it's been like 32 celsius but right now it's like 21 so it's kind of chilly well to me because i'm used to like a 100 which is hot yeah yeah that would make sense 
Yes. I want my cozy sweaters. I want yeah, hot chocolate. I know. I want a bundle. I want up. to watch a horror movie under the, the covers. <laughs> yeah. And the popcorns right now. That's <laughs> Yes. That's what I did last night. I watched the Meg too. Oh, shark! Oh my movie. gosh! I out. love sharks. I love horrible shark movies. I'm actually <laughs> of sharks, but oh, uh, I've gone to like panels for like uh, Comic Con, local Comic Con conventions here, where we <laughs> will listen to just uh, talk about horrible sharks. It'll also like. <laughs> You'll try and raise money to actually help protect sharks during this thing as well. But then we just talked about like Sharknado, Deep Blue Sea, The oh Meg, like all but of the- Have whole... you watched The, the Shallows? Oh, The, the yeah. Shallows. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, that, what, that one is really good. Yeah, it's I amazing. It. And then what was it? Uh, 60, which one's the one where they're like uh, Mandy Moore's like- seven meters down. Yeah, 47 meters down. That one was yeah. also, yeah, well, dif differently done. I was impressed with that. But Deep Blue Sea was one of my favorite movies of all time. Where And again, it's like Samuel L. Jackson is like shown as being like going to be the main character for this. And he's like doing his epic, we're going to get out of here. Fucking shark. <laughs> Also, I can't believe I didn't talk about this yet during uh, um, this panel, but one of my favorite movies of all time still is American Psycho. <laughs> okay. <It's amazing. laughs> A fucking amazing. The question is, is do you think he did it? Or was it all in his mind? Oh, shit. Um, no, he did it. Yeah, he for sure did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's deep on me yes um yeah well does anyone have anything else they want to add for halloween this is halloween. i'm going to rewatch all the halloween movies do i do it. it every october i can't wait if october is my favorite month of the year i'm like and it's like the 7th of, of october and i'm like feeling oh i haven't done enough i haven't watched that enough horror movies but yeah this the past uh, few months have been great for horror in uh, in theaters there have been a lot of new movies coming out i actually can't wait for the new saw but in america it already oh came out but I in italy it. it's coming out like on the 26th i can i already spoiled everything in my life but yeah i can't wait for <laughs> it. Yeah. the original saw was so good so good it was so, so original it's in my top 20 movies of all time hands down like it has to be like it was just so well executed the effects i don't understand how they make it look absolutely so real at that time oh yeah it was so well done i also really liked hostile movies and i feel like yes. it's actually very accurate to like upper society like i really do feel like fucked up upper crust would totally like pay to like bleed like slit somebody's throat and like bleed in their blood so that they can stay youthful for eternity hi <laughs> what about the purge series and the final destination series oh, final destination i have to go across a bridge every fucking day to work oh. and <laughs> Time. I have those vibes, and anytime I'm in a car and I'm behind, oh my like, gosh, oh, roller coasters, baby. Yo, <laughs> I'm not going to on a roller coaster ever again after watching what? Final oh. three. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just so unlike unlikely to happen. I won't but, get yeah, LASIK. Um... <laughs> no LASIK. Mm -mm. See, like again, I I take those as like if like file this, it's more of the campy side. Yes. Okay, what are, do you guys ever watch the cabin in the woods? Yes, yeah. oh, with a young Chris Hemsway before he was like really oh. famous. I saw this in theaters and I was like blown away because it was so 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 yes, original. Yes, um, it's just the ending. You don't expect that. It was like, brilliant. It was 10 cool. out of 10. 10, 10 out of 10, 10 fucking movie. It's 10 out of 10. Um, are there any other fun franchises that we have not talked about? Um, okay. Evil so Dead. Evil <gasps> Dead. I was literally about to ask if y'all have seen Evil Dead Rise that came I out this it. year. It was really, it was really good. <laughs> um, also, did anybody watch Bo is Afraid? 
Yes. Oh. Okay. I don't know how to feel. I was so confused the whole time. And yeah. that scene up in the attic, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> it's like silly, but also like, what? Why? Oh, oh. So A24 good. movies are so oh. weird, by yeah. the way. Yeah. Have you watched Men? Men? I don't know if you, any of you watched it. It's uh, also by A24. It's called Men. It's... Yeah. No. I, I just there's just I'm not I don't want to spoil it but there's this one scene where a character is like giving birth to other characters from its mouth I want to watch <laughs> and that each so cool. one opens its mouth and gives birth to another one Ooh. and it goes on for too much and I was there with my friend at the theater and we, and we were like um, what the how have I never on? heard of this <laughs> now yeah. all I'm thinking is human centipede centipede centipad <laughs> well that's South Park <laughs> <laughs> we've been watching a lot of south park in this house <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah human centipede um yep super gross i only I, called that now it's only called that now human centipede yeah 100 yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh what was that horror movie that um oh my god it, it's um it won the uh uh get out no oh also good. My God. yeah no it won like the academy award one year like summer oh no but midsummer was so good so good um, like it's a family that's living in a basement it's like in asia oh parasite uh, yes parasite. yes my god i watched that the other day in the scene where he's like levitating up from the stairs with his big eyes and it's like yeah. dark i my oh, stomach so started hurting good. so good <laughs> yeah thank you thank you centipa <laughs> centipa <laughs> i'm glad what i can still make you then? laugh girl <laughs> <laughs> I broke her. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I think this is a really good spot to cap it off. I think that everybody listening, please go listen. I uh, watch ha- at least like five of these movies and TV shows that we have all talked of them. About. It's my favorite time of the year. Fucking spooky season. And we have Friday the 13th this year. We do. And but I like the big movie coming out on Friday the 13th is Taylor Swift's error concert. <laughs> what I'll be doing. <laughs> I don't know. We are still ho- holding a hope that we're going to get tickets. Me like, too. For 2024. Not for Canada, right? No, for New Orleans, Louisiana. Okay, I was going to be like, if if you're coming and taking Canada tickets. I mean, like... I could if I wanted to, maybe. If no! I get lucky. No, there's only <laughs> six shows total in Canada. In <laughs> okay, one I woke city. up. I don't even have a passport, so... <laughs> <laughs> Just keep uh, only six shows one in italy one one only oh. one and the tickets were whew, in a few seconds i guess five seconds and they were all sold out yeah yeah danielle seriously just keep making like taylor swift based content and eventually she will just give you tickets oh like, yeah yes, yes. <laughs> and then c- call up your friend jen or <laughs> yeah. be like i i i have a, the, the tickets and we will do whatever we can um, yes i literally put in my vows t- to my husband that i'm like we will see the errors tour i don't know how <laughs> <laughs> wait hold on i'm like also tying in taylor swift to my wedding so the wedding party is gonna walk down to lover by taylor swift yeah. that was our first dance song really oh yeah, yeah. Oh, Jason is a huge Swifty fan. Like Love that. massive. I'm not a Swifty. Green flag. Swifty. Yeah. Hundred <laughs> percent green flag. Yeah. You don't see too many green so flags in men anymore. He, yeah. He's a, he's a walking green flag. <coughs> well, Good. Ev- everyone, I want to thank you so much for coming. And before we we there's one category of film that we didn't talk about, and it's Sims based horror films. <laughs> and I can't think of anyone better than OMG Sims <laughs> and to talk Very about funny. the machinima horror genre of the Sims. Owns it. I actually have a favorite uh, horror machinima made with the Sims and it inspired uh, the Reaper and it's called The Stalker and it came out like in, I don't, 
it was like 2009 those years yeah okay. it was my favorite series it was like scream and there were like uh, five of them but during the sixth one uh, the creator stopped making it and it he disappeared and i was like no it was my first introduction to sims uh machinima movies and yeah that's i loved it i loved it so much but uh, i always now like, look at you open <laughs> i know but look at you you have grown so much with this season i'm so 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 proud of you and i'm so proud to be part of the show and and the movie and to continue on and whatever you want to do you're my ryan murphy okay <laughs> whatever you want to do i am well I am right now i am anytime, like... baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah it's been it's been a, a wild ride i just crossed the uh, 800 subscribers on youtube and uh, i'm like so so proud and so happy but yeah uh, i'm actually <laughs> currently developing a horror anthology series with uh, dale draw uh, he is uh, he voices toby in uh, yeah. our show and uh, yeah it's like a six uh, episode season where each episode is a different theme like uh, ghosts uh, aliens uh, urban oh, legends and slashers and yeah it's going to be like american horror stories uh, where uh, as the same actor the same actress voices a different character in each episode so yeah i mean let me know if you need the extras yeah. like, i want to do <laughs> that course. yeah it's so yeah, good. Uh, hint, a hint on what's next uh, what's coming yeah but i always look up on youtube if there are other horror um, machinimas but yeah um, i don't know i i don't I I don't think I'm keeping the genre alive, but yeah, it seems like in Machinimas, there's not too many series ongoing or other projects like the ones I I create. So mm -hmm. it's it's like a niche audience, but I'm mm -hmm. happy about it, and I I will always continue to elevate the Machinimas. Like ep uh, part two of uh, episode five is completely made in Blender. There's like only one scene made with The Sims. The rest is all uh, made in Blender, and it took one month to film. <laughs> so yeah, uh, yes. I'm not just stopping there at The Sims. Uh, it's uh, no, I I love making them. I love having <laughs> our uh, our small world in, with uh, horror machinimas. But you really do like allow for like the other machinima communities. Like you're so embracing, which is like it's one of the seven habits that Franklin Covey talks about, right? Like win win. If you are promoting other machinima series, your machinima series will do better as a result. And it's great to just be around people that are in machinima for that reason. You all elevate each other. Yeah, I I never used to like um, chat with other people from the community, but when I met uh, Stasi, she was like my the spark that made me enter Aww. the community, and it made me meet a, a lot of people like you, the Disney Sims, and Danielle, and it's been one of the best parts of the all this uh, journey. Yeah, connecting oh. with other people and having them in my projects, and yeah, yeah. It, it helped me open up a lot. <laughs> Having this community is huge because like I I don't have friends in real life that enjoy this stuff or like even the horror stuff like to be able to talk about this today yeah. is so freaking awesome because like I can't mm -hmm. I don't have friends in real life that will do this with me. <laughs> Same. Yeah, I totally relate. My yeah, best for, friends are uh, online. Mas, uh, yeah. <laughs> for Machinimas, my only I only talk with you guys and uh, like I show them to my family, to my boyfriend, but they're like they don't get it. Yeah, it's, they don't understand they don't, how much understand. time and work and how talented, how much talent and goes into it. Like Machina, yeah. I I can never, I don't understand. <laughs> You're doing stories. Yeah, it's a bit, I mean, you know, I tr I tried, uh, for example, in. In episode six and episode seven were written both by Dale Dro because mm -hmm. I I had too much work and I was like I have to keep going because you know Sassy they get the receive the episodes and it's like okay when you have time you can record yeah. your lines but yeah I was just over overstressed and I couldn't write anything so I asked him to help me write the, the last episodes. And yeah, I talk about it, uh, about this with my friends, but they're like, oh, you know, that's cool. Okay. But they're like never interested in actually watching it. I spend like a day creating all the animations and the facial motion capture in, in part two. Every time they speak, 
the mouth moves along with uh, your lines because I recorded them. Mm. It's a lot of work and uh, I'm happy that you, the community, appreciate it because in real life they don't care you're like actually a movie director <laughs> like literally you're doing things oh, that people actually do that make like cartoon animated movies that's you and yeah. you could literally go full- so far with that that is so cool yeah full-blown production company over here <laughs> yes yeah that's why sometimes thank you and that's why sometimes i, I say i could use some help because I'm just one, and I like help some you. people are writing to me, are uh, they're texting, they're saying when is part two coming out? What oh, what's going yeah. to happen this season? When is it coming out? Like, so, uh, uh, I and know it's a lot of stress because yeah, um, as the community grows, there are many more people that are like asking for more content. But I, I want to make something that it's good and it's quality quality over quantity. Like, yeah, yeah. that's important. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to watch that more than anybody else's. So you have to be the most proud of it. Like, that's the reality, right? Like, Mm -hmm. and it's great if other people like it, right? But it's art ultimately, and it's about how it makes you feel. And then you putting that out there. So it ultimately how you feel about it is arguably the only important thing. No, yes, each episode I make, I say like, okay, this is the best work I've ever done. Like part two, last time was uh, episode five, part one was uh, the best I've ever done. Right now, I think I will never go past uh, part two because it's like uh, everything I learned these years, I put it into this episode and uh, yeah, each time. uh, But I'm also always proud of my cast members like Stassi and uh, she's grown a lot and uh, yeah that's uh, it's not also only about the machinima itself but it's also the people that are helping create helping create it and yeah Yeah. the cast is like my i'm so proud of all of them like they they just don't voice the lines they help they are into the project Uh, yeah so i mean like sassy is is my girl i love her so yeah I love you too. And baby, let's talk about me. But baby, let's also, take a Oh, so yeah. <laughs> I mean, discovering people, people's talents, like Disney scenes, like she was perfect as Dina. And Dina has an important role this, in this part. I mean, her head has an important role because her head was cut off. But... <laughs> I loved being decapitated. It was the best feeling. I'm so It was like the hardest, like, uh, I've ever gone in a Reaper uh, series. Like, cutting a head off I'm, but, yeah. I'm happy i could live up to that <laughs> <laughs> but see let's take a minute and remember the mr Mowers. you won best director best series best villain best main actor and i think best script or best like you swept out of the five out of the six categories you were nominated in you swept it baby and I, everything and i i could see the numbers they weren't even in the ballpark like at the, you were like 80 percent of the vote so people love you Dumb. and we, and we well, love you they love you too because you won best actress i did win best actress for playing i know but that's all you you gave me the material and i bring amy to life well everybody i think this is amazing that we can sit here and talk about horror films in and, and, and machinimas and TV shows and everything. And happy spooky season to everybody listening. Um, OMG Sims, baby, where can we find you? You can find me on YouTube. My name is OMG Sims. And you can find my machinimas there. And also follow me on Twitter. It's the same OMG Sims OG, where I post updates or stupid stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Danielle, where can we find you, girl? Danielle builds everywhere. That was <laughs> sweet and easy to the point, and I love it. And also, welcome to the Twitch community. I've heard you're new. How's, yeah. it, go- How's it going? Um. Well, I've been, like, sporadically, randomly streaming for, like, a year, but I'm trying to work my way into getting an actual schedule so that I can be a quote real streamer I, people hate when I say that because I'm like guys I'm not even a real streamer <laughs> they're like shut up you're literally live right now that means you're a real streamer anyway um like every time I try to get a schedule like it's just crazy because my wedding is coming up and I just cannot be consistent with anything in my life until 
I am married yeah. and yep. then everything will calm down. So it's yeah. Not an expectation. <laughs> yeah. It honestly, I made a Rose Chronicle chapter last night is the first time since April. Oh, wow. It's the first time I've really played The Sims since April. Yeah. I haven't Our played people. The Sims in like a year. <laughs> <laughs> I just build. <laughs> Well, Danielle, thank you for coming back. Miss mm-hmm. Disney, where can we find Hello, you? Hello, Court, a.k.a. the Disney Sims, a.k.a. Towny <laughs> Tales. You can find me on Instagram and TikTok and threads. And yeah, also EA Gallery, I guess, too, the Disney Sims. If you want to download uh, my Disney princesses and princes, they get all the Disney princesses pregnant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for coming. If you want to check out more of these series, please consider uh, subscribing to Spotify, Apple. I'm on everywhere. Um, If you also like what I do and you'd like to support, please consider signing up to my Patreon page. Super appreciate that. Um, If you like what I do and you want to be interviewed for season three, please reach out to me. Uh, We're going to start getting season three guests booked very soon. Um, if you want to be on the series, but don't want uh, a podcast, I do story spotlights every Saturday on Instagram where I interview authors. So please, if you're interested in doing that, um, I also am a Sims storyteller. I am the author of Rose Chronicles with new chapters now back every week. So please go check those out. Um, and please go check out, uh, OMG Sims, uh, the Reaper. I play Amy in that. Please go check out Davenport. Yeah. I also play Amy in that. And please, please, please uh, go support everybody on this podcast. Uh, the Disney Sims, Danielle Builds, and of course, my husband, OMG Sims. <laughs> and go watch her horror movie because it's spooky yeah, season. Yeah, go watch Terrifier. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> trigger warning (laughs) well everyone have a great rest of your day bye everyone